What's up guys, Shay Stevens here, PDGA number 77522, and it's finally time to open my Gyropalooza box. Let's get to it. So I've been waiting a long time to get these boxes. Shipping delays, uh, animal interference, that was a new one for me. Guessing my neighbor's dog messed with the mailman, couldn't deliver the packages. But, uh, finally arrived, so let's see what I got. Take the proof tape. There we go. Alright. So we're going to start off with the discs that are guaranteed, which I guess are closest to me. Ooh, never mind, those are drivers. So let's go far side. All right, first off, we got the uh, the Nightwatch Envy. Ooh, what are you? 165 gram. Guessing regular Electron. Does not too soft, not too firm. Yeah, just regular old Electron Envy. Say, love these. I love my Electron Envies. I just love to beat them in, make them flippy. 165 gram should get flippy pretty quick. So that's yeah, the, the night watch stamp. So these are the pro shop discs. Oh, sweet. I don't have this one. Uh, Photon 174 gram day glow. Uh, no, this is Bo. I can't read the last name. Sorry, but I know this is a tour series. I missed. Uh, I never actually picked one up. I uh, like the, uh, the semicolon, uh, stamp you went with. It's a uh, sign for, uh, the, you know, mental health awareness. It's a really cool concept for, uh, the tour series. So, needed that one for the collection. I have all my tour series for MVP uh, around the room here. So, this one is definitely going to be uh, added to the shelf somewhere. And then we got, this is the Envy. No, this is Hex. Doo, 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 doo. Yep, this is the R2 Hex. So, everyone loves the Hex. Good straight fly in mid-range. Got it at 173. See if I can think of it, I'll throw up a picture of it glowing so you can see what the rims like uh, see the rims I got. And we have the uh Skull Boys, the Crave, right? Yep. Always love Skull Boy stuff. The glitch, which is just a regular eclipse, guys. Remember not total eclipse, so the rim is the uh standard MVP white that they do for their eclipsed uh discs, uh discs. 161 gram. Let's see. Always love having glitches. Have some night catches now. And then the disc everyone's raving about, and I love it in white. I got a detour here. Interesting swirling on the back, actually. Got a little bit of color in there. And this is a 174 gram. I hear, sorry, I don't know if I had that upside down or not, but 174 gram on the detour. I'm looking forward to giving this some test throws. Then we have... This is the, this is my Envy, right? R2 Envy. I am very excited to get some Envies in R2. Uh, I'm loving the R2 Anode. Give me a stamp. Uh, I love the R2 Anode. And uh, yeah, I'm just curious to see how the Envy handles uh, the R2 treatment. And you know, it's got the Eclipse Rim. I'm, I'm interested to see some Envies in R2 just with the standard rim too. See how they handle I me. Mean, I love my envies, so just more variation, more plastic options. I'm not going to complain. This is a Fission Hex, it feels like. Nope, sorry. Fission Proxy. It's a really nice pink core, white rim combo on the Fission Proxy. And I actually am putting a Electron Proxy into my bag uh, to mess around with. And who knows, I might switch over to uh, Fission. I'm trying to find... Just, I'm, I'm playing around with my understable putter slot, trying to figure out... Uh, my envies just aren't flipping and riding like they used to for me. I don't know if it's a, it's a four. I definitely had form changes. Uh, so I want to see uh, if I need to go with another disc or if I just need to work on things more with the Envy. Then we have L2 Neutron Wave 171 gram. So we got a Neutron Wave. We got Thick Rim. What are you? Relativity. Ooh, this is pretty. Really I got some white swirling in there, a little bit of marbling. That is a 173 gram, a little too much for my arm, but there's any bombers out there who like the relativity. Hit me up, this thing is pretty. And then the last disc, white, Volt 173. Can't complain, love my Volts. And again, I like black and white combo for, it's one of my favorite uh, color combinations for these discs. So, 
Yeah. Ooh, actually, I'm liking... I have some of the uh, the Cosmic Neutrons, and they're a little more on the domier side, uh, but I've been leaning on my Volt for forehand more, and this has kind of got a little bit more of a flat top. Yeah, that feels real nice. All right, so those were the discs for my Jarapalooza pack. Uh, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that's not the end of it because I have problems. I have a second one, too. <laughs> so let's see what I got in box number two. Alrighty. Box number two. Let's go as far as I right here. Ooh, this is that. Was it on the Nomad, right? The Electron Nomad, yep. So this is a Skullboy stamp, and I heard they kind of they did something with the foiling. I don't know if they inverted it or something, but it never actually went out into the wild, I don't think. So this is our first time seeing this stamp. Again, love Skullboy's work, and that's just a really cool, you know, a bunch of his characters there. You have the virus, uh, Madam Wrath. Uh, that's, uh, what's that, Doctor, is that, from the, is that from the Shock? No, that's, uh, Doctor Volt, right? Uh, but yeah, he's got, you know, his characters on there. Stack two going over here. Ooh, Fission, what are you, Wave? Fission Wave 173 gram, that is a really beautiful pink. And that silver MVP stamp really pops on there, too. Or is it, you know, Chroma? It looks like it's a chroma stamp, but yeah, that really pops on there. So that's looking really nice. All right. And then we got, again, we got the hex. I think I'll throw the glows up with these as well so you can see them. And then the crave. We got the glitch. Again, looks like the same one I got there, so no variant. Everyone's always hunting the variants. This one is a 163 grams, so two grams heavier than the other one. Detour, I got a nice purple, one, uh, 171 gram on the detour. Think I'm gonna be throwing the white one just to see how that flies. And then we got our Envy again. So I'm definitely gonna be throwing an Envy around, see how they, how they handle. Oh, please be what... Yes, this is a trance. I I love these trances. This is a 175 gram. I'm curious, what is the L2-ing on this? Or the, you know, the... It's some, yeah, what makes this an L2? Let's see. Any kind of, like, bubbling in the rim or something? I'll find the blemish if I find it, but... I love the trance. It is just a great, straight-flying uh, fairway driver. Uh, it's competing with my... Uh, knocked my fission volts out of the bag actually. Uh, I'm carrying a proton volt right now for more, just a little more over stability, especially on forehands. But I'm just loving ripping on these, and we've only seen them with the uh, in the OTB release, and now these lab seconds, so they are a bit hard to come by. Uh, but you know, I have, I have a nice little stockpile, and it's nice to have a few more just in case. Got a wide rim boy here, 174 gram teleport. Have not seen these in a while. So these are kind of like a boss uh, for those who throw a Nova. Uh, I love giving these to the, you know, the local bombers, just to let them, uh, you know, let it go. And a little bit of hyzer, get some flip and ride. A little too much for my arm. Ooh, it's pretty. Kind of a, so we got a swirly cosmic neutron. Octane. Again, another bomber disc close to the teleport. Uh, a lot. Of, this was a, a go-to for a lot of MVP players. I'm curious to see uh, how many Octane throwers switch over to the time lapse. Now, that is an option. And last but not least, Glitch? No, sorry, Watt. So we got a L2 Watt. Or, sorry, yeah, lap second Watt. It is... Is there a weight on this thing? No sticker. Check in the box. So I'll have to check, make sure we're legal weight. But uh, a nice pink Watt. Uh, great straight flying putter. I keep toying with it. It's, my problem with the Watt is it is such a straight flying putter. I forget that it usually doesn't hyzer. So I always play out, you know, 10 feet to the right of my target to bank on the disc hyzering in on backhand, like why it's 10 feet left for the forehand. And I just usually just keep going straight past uh, my landing zone, unfortunately. It doesn't hook up in hyzer. It just goes straight, lands straight. Uh, so not a problem. It's just something that's kind of you know, mental for me. But, you know, really fun disc there. So that's it, guys. I promise. Nope, I don't. My shopping, you know, 
coping isn't that bad. Only two boxes. Uh, but yeah, these have been my Jarapalooza boxes. Uh, yeah, I love MVP for doing this fan appreciation. They're a great brand. I think they won the fan loyalty uh, survey that just came out, and rightly so. They do a lot for the community, uh, and it's just been great to watch them grow and keep growing. Can't wait to see what else is next and you know on the horizon for next year. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for all your support. If you have any questions for me, reach out. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you to my sponsors. For all your disc golf needs, check out Phoenix Discs and Foundation Disc Golf.